what is up? The sky. I was talking to them, not you. Oh. I don't understand why everything has to be about you. It's always about 370, isn't it, huh? You know what, Tuck? When you came to me last night, you opened the door after you got out of home out of work. You came in, you said, honey, I can't stand this anymore. I said, what do you mean, Tuck? I <laughs> just said... I even know this is a reference to what the fuck. <laughs> it's, it's not. I was oh, like, the gimmick. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I ruined the gimmick. <laughs> Killed the gimmick. K Fabe is dead. K Fabe is over. Oh, man. What are we doing? We're doing Judgment Day. Lit. This is, this is the big one. Well, thus far, it's the big one. Our pay per view event for May of 2001, the main event is a clash for the ages, the Brothers of Destruction, who have just lost their WF Tag Team titles just one month prior at the Backlash pay-per-view, are out for revenge, are out for vengeance. They've come back from the grave, if you will. And they're looking for vengeance on the two-man power trip, possibly the most dominant two-man group, alliance, faction, whatever you want to call this unison of two men that we've ever seen in this company, holding almost all the gold, no, at all the gold at one point except the hardcore title and but we don't really count that one that one's fucking stupid um but they've been unstoppable since forming together can the brothers of destruction find a way or will the dead men just not be held down are you asking me or the audience uh I was asking my assistant isn't that Mm. right what do you think Oh, shit, I forgot. I don't have, like, a mic right here with me, so I gotta, like... I just gotta all of a sudden go, Yeah, it's great! Yeah, see, exactly, it's great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought I had my, like, headset on, so I could just kind of, like... Because I'm not used to the new <laughs> mic, right? So I could just, like, move the mic away and be like, Yeah, it's great! It's going good! <laughs> uh, but no. Just a fucking mark for myself. Jesus Christ. We um, are in the fucking Metrodome, brother! Metrodome. Young Metrodome. I believe that's... Don't shoot you. M- Minnesota, yeah? I don't know. MN, Minnesota. Oh, what is it? Oh, MN? I, yeah. Can't, yeah, I can't see the gimmicks. Yeah, that, that Mini. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's, without further ado, I just I just want to get into it. You just want to get into it? I, I mean, am I know really tired, tired as fuck. So, yeah, I'm you, tired as you fuck. You probably just so. want to get into it, don't you? I would... <sighs> yeah, let's get into it. Brother. Let's get into it. We're going to open things up. The only way we know how. It's a fucking crazy-ass, baller-ass video package. A 99A start. Open us up. Man. Welcome to Judgment Day 2001. Spelt wrong. I spelt it right, though, because I didn't really know. I, I spelt it right when I renamed it, because I was originally like, ah, Judgment Day, Judgment Day, ah, da. Ah. Right. But this is actually how the Fed spells it, if you didn't know. And you can look that yep. up, and that's the incorrect way. So <laughs> they spelt it like that for years. So <laughs> I don't know who the fuck let that slip and just kept well, letting it happen. Tuck, I have breaking news right here, brother. <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking Judgment Day news! Is it from the fake news network? Uh, the great yes. network that broke the great network. Yeah. Uh, the great news of Lil Uzi Vert trying to find the 370 gaming. <laughs> he tried so he hard. Tried dude. so hard. He suffered from anal bleeding. What? <laughs> anal ble- <laughs> that was such a good video. It was such a good video. And then you people all unsub from you assholes. Unbelievable. Uh, so, it appears that you can spell judgment either way. That's some bullshit. There's That's only one way, and it's the real way, and it's my way, or the highway, brother. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the fuck was that? The fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah, but anyways, we, we just have yeah. a video package opening things up. Hyping our main event. Basically saying what I said before. I always Literally. do that. I always fucking hype things, and then we get into the thing, and it's like, oh yeah, there's that video where I could have just said that. But whatever. I never would have fucking remembered. So, Damn. fuck off. Um, oh. You dirty slut monster. Oh. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I just called you Saucy. a slut monster. Saucy boy. Uh, but we're gonna move yeah, forward. Yeah, boy. <laughs> 71C+, plus, we're just opening up. Welcome everybody to Monday Night Raw. I mean, this is not Rob, and it's not Vince. It's Jim Ross and Paul Heyman. They welcome us to WF Judgment Day. 1990 2001 and um <laughs> <laughs> 1990 smooth. 2001 <laughs> smooth as fuck 
smooth boy. You never would have even noticed. Uh, nope. But yeah, no, they they hype up basically everything that I said before. <laughs> Good God. Again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We've got another one of these later tonight, folks, so be fucking hyped. I'm hyped. We're moving forward. I think we're into a match. We are. It's our opening contest. It's a 77B. I like it. Edge defeats Eddie Guerrero in 1546 by pinfall with a leaping DDT. The uh, Education, I believe. Education? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep sir. Yep. Uh, following, f- f- following, what? following Fire. interference from Christian. I mean, you, you knew it was going to happen, I think. The numbers game comes into effect. You know, the dastardly deeds of Edge and Christian, the dastardly dangerous duo. <laughs> Disrupt. Duh. Dangerous. Doing the Datch. Um Dab. <laughs> dab dab. Dab on the haters. Yep. Yo, yeet. Um God damn it. That's a fucking fuck was that? That's a fucking meme in between me and shoot friend Rob. Because Jesus. like in like oh, I forget what fucking video it is. It's a fucking Paul Brothers video though. I think it's I think it's the one where like Logan Paul fucking like is like oh man the death of jake paul or whatever he's like he's <laughs> he just randomly at one point he's like yeah yeet and then dabs the fuck so it's just become a meme yeah yeet um it's what, just, what does that mean exactly <laughs> just a pointless fuck. hype word yeah yeet. that's yeah yeep no yeah yeet why yeah yeet yeah what yeah can you name that the title of this video Yaw yeet? No, I can't. I'll have, to, I'll have to name it Judgment Day 2001 to get those fucking clicks from people who are like, Is this Looking the pay-per-view? The pay-per-view. <laughs> yep. You know how this works. <laughs> Looking for the pay-per-view? What's this? Is this it? No, fuck off. Fair play. <laughs> um, trust me, naming when you do WrestleManias, just naming them like WrestleMania whatever, that gets you fucking tons of views. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they're they are kind of confused. So they're like, how oh, how do they condense all of WrestleMania into like thirty minutes? That's kind of weird. <laughs> but like, I don't know. They by the time they they figure out, oh yeah, no wait, that's not fucking possible. Uh, they've already clicked on the video and they're like, oh wait, this is not, this is not what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> False advertising. Yeah, fake so news. Y- you people are still on clickbaiting and thumbnails. I'm clickbaiting. No, clickbaiting and titles is already a thing. That's yeah, been a gimmick. Probably. We're gonna move forward. Um. So, so I think it's safe to say this feud isn't over. I, I'd, I'd say so. If, Bre- I, if you, if breaking, you're asking me, breaking character and all kayfabe, it's not over. Um. <laughs> Damn. Yep. There well, you go. what was the point of that, brother? I don't know. Okay. Sometimes I like to like be in kayfabe, <laughs> and then I realize like, not. Nah, it's better kayfabe. to just fucking tell people what we're doing. Um, I feel it. But anyways, we're gonna move forward. It's a sixty C. What is what does Ivory say? Three seventy. You're you're the women oh, professional. Oh man, I am. I control women. <laughs> Controller of women. Three seventy <laughs> gaming. Let's go. Uh, basically, she's just she's really super confident after the the beatdown on China on SmackDown, and you know it was never really a, a thought in her mind that China would win. You know she knows. You know she's smarter. And she's, you know, she's, I don't, you know, better worker. I I don't really know. I don't know how they, I don't know how they work. I, I haven't compared their in-ring performance. But she claims she's a better worker. She claims she's smarter. She claims she, you know, is the real <laughs> women's revolutionary. <laughs> God damn it. No. <laughs> you fucking monster. <laughs> Ruined. Ruined. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> then she damn. dabs in the camera. Then she cuts. dabs, and everybody's like, "What well, was that? That seems cool. What happened?" Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, she never actually says "slutty bitch China." That's actually uh, it's actually just a sign that's in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slutty bitch China. <laughs> slutty bitch China. Also, she's dead. Haha. <laughs> Um, oh, gotta get that gimmick in. <laughs> you gotta get that in. <laughs> She's dead. Um, yeah, now, wait a minute. Stuff. Before we move oh, on yes, from the women. Course. What's going on? Um, I don't know. I, I remember there was some kind of current affairs issue. Did you Did you oh. have an opinion on that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. You were going to fucking prompt me on this, weren't you? 
I was. I, yeah, I want. I, I want right now. The comments. <laughs> Maybe not. Guys, the guys, hold on, hold on, guys. No, God this is. I no, don't... hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Talk. Come on. Now this is really serious, you guys. I want. I want to take a break here. That this has been fun, right? But there's a lot of serious stuff been going on in the news lately, and you know, Tuck, he was he was talking to me earlier. He was kind of breaking down. He got, got a little emotional. He was crying about it, and he said, <laughs> I "Was crying about it." He okay? told me, he, "You were crying, dude. You're you're a very sensitive, I don't remember progressive person, brother. Don't worry about it." I don't remember. It. I was crying. And he was telling me, you know, he he said all these really lovely, wonderful things, and and he he was so he was so touched by by. The, the hardship of some of the people in the new I'm sorry I'm so choked up I'm sorry Tom you're gonna have to just say what you were say your piece you just want me to fucking say it now just to pop you <laughs> yeah <sighs> hashtag Anzo did nothing wrong uh moving forward dab 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 dab, 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 dab. dab. I'm literally it's, dabbing it's, it's the Let's light, go. Also dab. my, it's the light heavyweight championship dab <laughs> um Grandmaster Sexy comes out dabs yeah and, and so he I looked, guess I guess it's Grandmaster Sexay, but in this I guess it's not Grandmaster Sexay because Jerry Lynn beats him. Yep. In like six thirty by submission. With I guess it's breaker. Jerry Lynn. I guess it's Jerry Lynn. Mm -hmm. Guess we were wrong all along. Damn. Uh, pretty damn good rating, a sixty-one C. Like these. Yeah, guys, that's not bad. They, they, they're it. fucking fire though. Like, the light heavyweights are just going to be that group that's fucking fire, even though they have no business being that good. Mm hmm. Um, Very much so. Mostly because Jerry Lynn's a fucking god, but actually, Sexay outworked him in this, so. Wow. Sexay! Um, I guess it's Grandmaster Sexay. I guess it was Grandmaster Sexay. Wow. Uh, good stuff, about though, overall. That. Very, very proud about that. Very, yeah. very good stuff. You want to move forward? Yeah. Y'all yeet. Y'all yeet. Uh, we get a promo from The Undertaker. Kane's in the background, and uh, as this, tight, as this uh, segment's named, he's scary. Um, he's scary. Undertaker talks about how. Uh, two holes for two souls, man. And oh no, I'm he's a, a bike, biker. I'm right a biker now. at this point, so I'm gonna fucking find them. I'm gonna fucking crack their fucking necks, cause I'm fucking biker taker and I'm the big evil one, and I can fucking kill them. Now I have a question. This will be your last ride. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. This is May 2001, right? This is May 2001. So the XFL should exist, correct? Yes. So, is he scary? <laughs> a name of a He's of a scary. football player? <laughs> he scare me. He scare me. He scare me. <laughs> Kane's got a jersey on that says he scare me. He scare me. <laughs> is it Kane talking about Taker? I don't know. <laughs> Kane's like Taker scare me. Taker scare me. <laughs> At this point, though, like the brother destruction thing is really weird because, like. Oh, by the way, I think we're using the wrong picture for Kane. No, that's... Well... No, Kane he, didn't look like that in no one. He kind of... Yeah, he changed his gimmick he changed a little his bit. Mask. We gotta switch that. Uh, yeah. We'll do that. Because I think I realized that the other week. Where I was like, oh shit, that's wrong, isn't it? Uh, uh, we're like, whatever. Kane's still a fucking fire demon at this point. Yeah. But Taker's just a dude. He's a biker. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still called The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Should've been mean Mark Callis. Um, <clears throat> I'm mean and I'm Mark and I'm a real person. <laughs> oh, this will be your last ride. Um, into the grave. <laughs> into the grave you go, Deborah. <laughs> Not even into, like into the grave you go, Sarah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it, brother. Forward. Go, Fuck go ahead, this is so great. <laughs> Uh, it is a match. Mm, no, it's not. It's just not. Supposedly. Loaded. Okay. No, it's not, because it's Chris Jericho. Oh, he's here. It's time for Jericho versus Regal. He makes his way to the ring. Break the walls down. Do, do, do. Yep. The fuck was that? <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Looks like that's how the song opens, right? Break the walls down. Do, do, do. <laughs> Jesus. Really tired. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. Terrible, I think. Help me. I am right, terrible. Let's, let's go into this match. Let's go, brother. It's a 79 B. Okay. Which is okay. Which is okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Jericho beats Regal in 18 minutes by submission with the Lion Tamer. Man. Fucking put the put spine. the knee to the back of the head, brother. Knee to the back. 
just fucking pulls back and fucking rips his legs off and then beats his fucking corpse with it. Jesus. Um, but yeah, no, really good match overall. Jericho gets a fucking 88 in ring performance. Wow. He's an animal. Uh, Regal a gets a beast. 72, which is Pretty nothing good. to scoff at either. Uh, really proud of both these guys, to be honest. Same. Same. Um, they're, they're big things. Big things. Big things Agreed. for both of them. Yeah. Um, bigger things for one of them, I guess you can assume which one's which. Uh, spoiler, we're putting the title on Regal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. That's um, a shoot. We're putting the title on Regal. Oh, oh no. I, I, no. I worked myself into... I shooted myself into a work. You did? I shooted myself? You shooted yourself. I shooted myself, guys. Oh, no. Good Lord. Good Lord, I shooted myself. All right, let's move forward. This is fucking... Please. This is such a fucking great episode. This is wonderful. All right, here we go. Oh, this is so good. Here we fuck. The Man. rain's coming down. We see a gym. <laughs> It's Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman's fucking, you know, he's got his fucking nunchucks, and he's fucking, like, hitting a punching bag with nunchucks, which I don't think is how you use them, but, like, whatever, okay? Eh. He's fucking doing whatever. And all of a sudden, we see, like, this window or whatever. It's, like, a big window on the outside. And the lightning flashes, and all of a sudden, there's a silhouette of a man there. Lightning flashes again, and he's gone. We go inside the, the, the gym-type area, and the camera pans... You know, Steve's doing the thing or whatever. We can see the window where that man just was, but we can't see who it is. And so we we see Blackman or whatever, you know, using the punching bag or whatever, kicking it. And all of a sudden he stops. And he says, I knew you'd come. No. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Fucking Christ. Blackman says, uh, You've come for it, haven't you? I was told you might. And the camera slowly pans. And it's Raven. Oh, man. He's coming for his hardcore title. <laughs> Blackman says, If you want this, points to the hardcore title, you're going to have to go through me. And he, he pulls out his nunchucks. He starts doing the weird fucking shit people do with nunchucks. And it's really impressive and shit. Yep. And Raven just stops opens like his like trench coat type gimmick <laughs> and un she is a fucking katana <laughs> <laughs> this is happening <laughs> I love this it's about it's a 61c uh Raven Drew with Steve Blackman following a double disqualification I pop for that one <laughs> that's great uh the two battle all across this gym uh you know Raven uh with his katana and Blackman with the nunchucks, but then finally Raven starts to overpower Blackman. He like cuts one of the katanas in half. The katana, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the nunchucks, nunchucks in half, something yeah. like that. You know, breaks the chain on one of them. So Blackman's only got one left, and the other one gets broken too. So Blackman grabs his hardcore belt, being overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overwhelmed by Raven, and he fucking like escapes through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> escapes through the roof, and then Raven just kind of sheath's weapons like fuck man seriously come on <laughs> god damn it i brought a fucking katana this time but i still can't win this fucking belt literally it's like what the fuck is going on <laughs> uh very good stuff from raven he gets a fucking 69 in ring performance good stuff um, not just normal 69 a fucking 69 oh um, that's that's how you know it's special that's how you know brother very very good stuff overall good stuff from the hardcore we move into an 86B+. plus. It's kind of the opposite side of what we got before uh, with Steve Austin, Triple H, Stephanie, and Deborah, and, you know, whatever. There's a promo on Taker and Kane. You want to do this one? Are you are you up to it? Are you conscious I'm... enough? No. No, he's Wait, not conscious please. enough, everyone. That's okay. So whatever, Sorry. Austin's like, Taker, you some bitch. I'm telling you right now, all right? You're going to get in that fucking ring with me. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm drunk off my fucking ass. Hold on. Hmm. Anyways, get in that fucking ring with me. I'm gonna fucking drop you. One, two, three. And I'm gonna go in the back. And I'm gonna drop Deborah. One, two, three. Alright. Because that's, that's what good old Stone Cold likes to do. Because Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't give a fuck. Alright, hold on there. Hold on there, playa. Uh, Trips cuts him off. And he just says, 
what I believe Steve is trying to say, Taker Kane, is that we're we're not scared of you. You think that just because you're you're big bad guys, we're we're scared of you. He realizes what these belts mean, and like Trips has all four of the belts on his shoulders because <laughs> Steve's too fucking drunk to do anything. Literally, um, he says you realize what these four belts mean. This means that not only are we the tag team champions of the world. Let me repeat that again. The world. We are the intercontinental champion <laughs> of the world? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, that he one sa- works. He says it, but nobody questions it. Yeah, he's like, of the world? He looks back at staff. So I was like, yeah, that seems right. Um, <laughs> and we are the WWF world champion you see me and Steve we're, we're, we're something special something that you two wouldn't really get you two may be brothers but Steve and I are winners you think you can use your size to bully whoever you want cause you're big bad dudes we're about to put you back in your place put you back in your hole dead man I sometimes do that I do that in ECW what I just fucking cut promos yeah it's a good promo I, I just go in on promos yeah I, yeah it's the thing I do with ECW so yeah, I, like, trips, I, cut, trips cut a good promo yeah and Steve's fucking drunk and his comedic relief <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to propose an ending to that promo go ahead once Triple H gets done with his spiel Stephanie kind of yells in the background, "Yeah, you guys, you're not you done? You, we, we got this, you know." And then Deborah just kind of goes, "Yeah, they don't got a chance." The Stone Cold says, "Shut up!" And he punches her. <laughs> he throws he throws a beer bottle across the room, <laughs> cracks her upside the head, she drops. <laughs> Shut up! Nobody, you speak when spoken to, woman. Because I'm. Good old Stone Cold. That's the bottom line. <laughs> I like that was all in two minutes too. <laughs> all in two minutes. No, it's four minutes. Oh, I thought it was two minutes. It's four okay. minutes. We're gonna move forward. <laughs> all right. I believe it's yeah, it's the European title. As, oh boy. Uh, Matt Hardy six, 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 successfully defends the European title against X Pac in about eleven and a half minutes with a flying leg drop. Matt Hardy makes uh, defense number one. Can he? F- can he fly? He can fly. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of big news, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, no. 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 So it wasn't a diving leg drop. Here, here, it wasn't a here, here falling comes, leg Here comes drop. a more important angle, though. Three, three oh seventy. Yeah? You might you might have to step away for this one. We're not sure. Oh man, I've been I've been told uh, in the comments that you might that this woman might have a restraining order against you. I, oh, that's fuck, true. X-Pac, I've, no, I've been given. Oh, no, X Pac, bad. bad, bad, Sean Waltman. Okay, hold on. Before you continue, uh, I did. I got. Uh, there was a comment on the last video. There was a comment on the or, first video. I, the on, the, video. on the first. Was it the first video? Oh, I my bad. So, yeah. Um, Whenever the hell I got, started, I got a gimmick. I think it was SmackDown. I got tweets about this, and now Did you I have get tweets. Yeah, That's I've got tweets. Yeah. Great, it's lit. And so Your I got right here. So you hold on, Lita. I got right here. <clears throat> Mister Three Seventy Gaming is not allowed uh, on video to be near. Amy Dumas for 365 days. I don't know what 370 Gaming's <laughs> relationship with Amy Dumas is, but I do know that when she's in trouble, she comes to me. So, I think for until I can get this settled, until I can get this uh, filed in court and, and kind of you know put my appeal in, um, I'm going to have to mute and step away for each Lita segment. That sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to step out right now. Hold on, before you go. Okay, before I before I go. If you start the segment, I'm going to get arrested. No. Did you see on Raw 25, right? Uh, didn't 
uh, like I might have seen it, but I didn't. See okay, it. well, I it, saw Brooklyn Brawler and like his gimmick. Yeah. No, if anybody saw Raw twenty five when okay. they did the fucking DX reunion gimmick. Mm hmm. So whatever they bring out each guy or whatever. X Pac only comes out there so we can introduce Scott Hall because X Pac nobody gives a fuck about you. Okay, Sean Waltman. Um, Literally. He goes out there or whatever, and then is like wasted ass. I'm like a thousand years old. He's like, it makes some noise. And I was like, oh, <clears throat> man, that was Jesus. that was fucking weird. Like he literally said it like that. I was like, oh shit, that was fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> and then as he's trying to announce Scott Hall, they interrupt him and they start chanting one, two, three. <laughs> and like he starts crying his eyes start to tear up i'm like i'm like that's what it is i'm like that's that's what happens when you're part of the nwo dx you were there during the attitude era the new gen era afterwards you had your own stable you were and you're basically fucking forgotten and somebody fucking pays attention to you like like Holy fuck. They fucking chanted for him, and he teared oh up. God. It was fucking beautiful. I just sat there and I was like, I like stood up in my room, started clapping just at my TV. Wow, like That's it was amazing. so amazing. Like, and yeah, you got you gotta go. That's be okay. All right, get, get the fuck up. out of here. Nobody wants you. Okay. Uh, so so lead is lead is attractive on the outside. Um, no, she comes in the ring. It's just attractive. Um. And now that 370 isn't here, she she doesn't she doesn't look afraid or anything like that. Um, Matt Hardy is just kind of there, and X Pac on the outside. It's a sad piece of shit, while also being like wasted on every single drug fucking imaginable. He's just like, oh, what's going on, man? I'm fucking high on my mind. Did I win. Um, but yeah, no. Moving forward. 370. Oh, hello. Come back. <laughs> I'm here. Well, they had to let me in. <laughs> The contract reads, let me in. <laughs> contract reads, stay the fuck away from Lita. So now we have the segment, 370. Yeah. It's Angle Benoit. We get a hype package or whatever, you know, recapping this feud. Uh, you know, Kurt Angle's being a cocky dick, and Benoit wants to shut him the fuck up. Easy as that. Hell yeah. You got anything to add? Nah, brother. That's a simple story, but that's a simple, effective fucking wrestling 101 right there, brother. It's time to play the game. No. ADP. Let's go. It's fucking disappointing. Uh, you know, I mean, it did better than the other. Are you fucking telling me between Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle, at times there was a definite lack of psychology on display. What? Are you fucking joking me right now? What? I hate real world mods. Jesus um, fucking Christ. That's okay. Whatever. It's not important. Uh, anyways, Kurt Angle is able to defeat Chris Benoit in 25-23 by pinfall with an angle slam. It's a fucking back-and-forth wrestling clinic. Like, it's just hold after hold, throw after throw. The two of them are aggressive and tell the story of the cocky douchebag and somebody wants to shut him the fuck up. And in the end, Angle fucking, like, just seems to be better well you know because the story was that you know angle you know he he has the history of being an olympic gold medalist right but right. amateur wrestling you know olympic wrestling it's different than professional wrestling you feel me right and he celebrated like he won the goddamn super bowl every time he beat billy gunn and rikishi and benoit was the first guy to really put him to that test to really see if he can do what he says he can do if he can perform at the level he Even says he he's can. already been champ at this point don't 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 work don't don't no 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 <laughs> he was champ no no January. no 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 okay, no no my bad no no this is a clean slate brother oh, God. benoit first person <laughs> to Jesus take him Christ. to the limit no no <laughs> Revisionist history. Fuck out of here, all right. Not, all right, calm down there, Vince. Ah, uh, brother, I got the pen. <laughs> Change history. Anyways, we're going to move forward. Right, One hell of a match fine. for both these guys. Angle's a fucking yeah. monster. He's a fucking god. Let's move forward. Okay. Uh, Post-match, actually, we have Kurt Angle, like, fucking celebrate like a fucking maniac. And Ben Wallace He's a legend. Like... <sighs> What does he have? Kurt's got to have something special for beating Benoit. 
I think he has someone give him like. I thought, I thought like you were a, asking me what Benoit had, and I was like a dead fan. No. Um, oh no. Oh, oh. I thought I Dang. set that one up perfectly, and you were like, "What's Angle had?" And I was like, "Oh, Rip. not a dead I mean, family. Just <laughs> a, a, a half black son. He, he has an ex family. <laughs> he has a half black son. He does have a half black son. Um, no, nah, but like Kurt needs like like I want him to like have a guy at ringside who like awards him a, a plaque or a trophy for beating Chris Benoit. Somebody in the crowd. Just gives him a yeah. sign that says "Angle I wins." Like Angle wins. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking like takes it out of the ramp, holds up. He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> I fucking did it." <laughs> American hero. American hero. Let's go. You ready to move forward? Yep. It's the women's title. Oh man. It's a sixty-two C. That's not bad. Ivory beats China. An 8.30 by a face buster after distraction from, that only says good father, but it's fucking everybody. It's everybody yeah. in the fucking RTC. Ivory has won the women's title. She did it. That she outsmarted. son of a bitch. She outsmarted China. She had the numbers the advantage. Daughter of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, that's she a quality. did it. Ivory uh, did it. Yeah, she did it, brother. She, you know, I don't think anybody gave her much of a chance coming well, into this match, quite frankly. the fucking 10th wonder of the world. ninth wonder of the world. Whatever the fuck she is. Andre was 8th. She's ninth. Um, okay. That's how these things work. Um, yep. Overall, though, good stuff. 62C. Yep. Very, very proud. <clears throat> and yep. ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it <clears throat> is <clears throat> time. <clears throat> we get a... Uh, main event hype package to 79b yep again basically saying everything that we said before you gotta Runners be reminded destruction taking on the wf world champion the wf intercontinental world champion the wf <laughs> world tag team champions taking on two of the most unstoppable indestructible in unconceivable forces in the history of this company the brothers of destruction the undertaker and kane one burned his own fucking house down murdered his fucking family <laughs> including the other one the other one is a weird biker now <laughs> true brothers of destruction two man power trip who Place your will be tag team champions place your bets now folks it's 81b what the fuck what in the fuck what the fuck is wrong with this fucking i told thing? i told you all the main event i told you the main the last two matches went on not the um the last no, two it's, big it's matches not, it's not length it's, it's gotta be we're being fucking penalized for content risk being low <laughs> we're changing that off screen. We're, we're gonna we're gonna fuck it so that doesn't happen. Cause okay, that's look, that's stupid. the only thing I can think of that is penalizing us that much. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. That um, is stupid. Anyways, uh, in a fucking whopper match, very very okay with this. Um, Brothers Destruction defeated the two men power trip in twenty three oh two when the Undertaker defeated Triple H by pinfall with a double choke slam. Jesus. The Brothers of Destruction win the WF World Tag Team titles. So the belts Man. are back where they belong. There's been another title stripped off the two men power trip, and now they are just the world and intercontinental world champions. <laughs> intercontinental world champions. So the Brothers of Destruction are victorious. You got anything to add? Um. Nope. All right, that's good stuff. Uh. <laughs> 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 Overall, though, I'm pretty pleased with the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Is there anything else happening? I mean, well, I mean, we can. I feel see, we can go see the rain. No, I mean, we want. I mean, like the logo comes up, right? Yeah. It's the the um, Judgment Day logo. Anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I don't I don't know. The main event's kind of disappointing, and I don't know what that's going to do to the grade. You know what I mean? Because like, I mean. I don't know. I'm just. I'm. I'm just. We're gonna have to fix whatever this is. Okay. Like, cause. Yeah. Cause. Okay. The fact that it says in an exceptional match, and the fact that we got these ratings, mm -hmm. that has to be it. Cause there's no way that it's just something not working right. So yeah. whatever. What? Uh. Let's see what the show gets. I agree. Wait. What? What? The fuck? 
uh, who the fuck is that? So some some dude in like a fucking like jean jacket vest and like fucking jeans because I don't know it's the fucking two thousands what the fuck you want just kind of jumps to the barricade you know and security's like oh wait hold hold the fuck up who the fuck are you when all of a sudden some dude in like a fucking hoodie like jumps the other barricade so you know what I mean now security stretched out over two different places or whatever and they're trying to like fucking you know keep both these weird like hooded dudes away you know what the fuck's going on. And then all of a sudden... It's the Riot Squad. Yep, it's the Riot Squad. Uh, yep. Riot! Uh, you know, like a fucking third guy jumps over. This guy dressed in, like, whatever, all black. And... That sounds racist. <laughs> I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it might okay. be. <laughs> might as, be. Uh, as whatever, you know, security's trying to attend to these two other guys or whatever. The other guy kind of goes unnoticed. He just slips into the ring, and like Undertaker, Kane, and kind of Austin Trips, who are now kind of regaining themselves, are like, "Should we, should we kick that guy's ass? <laughs> who, the, who, who, who the fuck is this guy? Um, who the fuck is that?" Guy? And all of a sudden, the the one guy or whatever unzips his hoodie. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> unzips his pants, and pulls out his <laughs> giant cock. Um, <laughs> Unzips I'm gonna piss in this hell. <laughs> unzips his shirt, open or his hoodie, opens it up, and turns around, and it says aces and eights on the back of his jacket. No, oh, Taz no, too. no, um, awful. Opens, opens his jacket. N W O pulls no. it across. D X. Nope. And the letters read W C Z W C oh. W. And the oh. man pulls back. The Wait, hood. what is that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> pulls back the hood, and it's a black guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is it? Who let them? In and the all of a sudden, arena? we realize it's some rapper. Oh, oh no! Wait, no, it's not. Oh shit! Uh, Jr., you didn't say that, you racist fuck. Um. Jesus. It's Booker fucking T. Who? Yeah. It's Booker fucking T. But who's that? That black guy. But we've never seen him on WWF TV before. I know, but he's a black guy and he's wearing a WCW shirt. But what is... What is that? I don't know. Oh. And then just as, like, that guy fucking, like, trips Austin, Kane, and Taker, Kane as much as he can to find his fucking mask, they're all like, Wait... Wait, What? This is, you know what? I feel like you've either overbooked this or I'm way too tired because yeah, I'm just not getting tired. any of these gimmicks. I'm way too tired. Okay, I'm you're just gonna way too fucking tired. I think I think I think, okay, I think Lita's getting here. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself here. All right. And 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 Booker T is just here, like the the last ever WCW World Champion and the last ever WCW United States World Heavyweight Champion. I think that's how that works and he's wearing a shirt that says wcw wait so then who the fuck are those and then just like that the other two guys fucking spring into action fucking toss security all over the place they also roll into the ring fucking take off their own hoods and it's scott steiner and diamond dallas page And on comms, JR and Heyman sell like, w wait, wait, no, no, uh, I, th I think we need more security, right? Because they're, they're not with us, right? J like, Paul, they're not with us, right? Paul's like, no, Jim, they're not with us. And then... Booker T, Scott Steiner, and Diamond Dallas Page. The three of them beat the fuck out of the four most important stars in the entire company. And it's pretty interesting when you have three very dangerous people in the room with four very, very important people who have just put each other through hell. Because I know math says four over three... But in this situation, it's three over four. 
Booker T, Scott Steiner, and Diamond Dallas Page beat the fuck out of all four of those men. Um, trying to think of like different spots here. The fucking Booker T, like axe kicks Steve Austin, who like fucking just starts blading, <laughs> fucking bleeds all over the place. Uh, Steiner just fucking lays and fucking just lays into trips, just hammers him over and over and over again. DDP, uh, you know, goes after both brothers' destruction at the same time. Kane's like, the fuck are you joking me? This dude's fucking tiny. Fucking grabs him by the neck, lifts him up, but Dallas Page kind of slithers out, spins around Diamond Cutter out of nowhere. Oh my god. Uh, and so then it's just kind of Taker with the three of them. Taker kind of adjusts his jacket a little bit, fixes his gloves, squares the fuck up, and it's... Now, now it's when math is kind of normal. Taker fucking fires the first one, kind of stuns DDP, fires another, stuns Steiner, kind of misses Booker, though, but gets another one at DDP, kind of staggers him again. Uh, Booker's already kind of tackled him at this point. Steiner fucking descends on him and just starts hammering away. Diamond Dallas starts fucking kicking him. And before you know it, the three... guys, like, WCW guys like alumni i don't know what the fuck they're doing here <laughs> um but they've just beaten the shit out of all four of our like major champions so you uh you know there's going to be some hell to pay tomorrow night should i should i do the turn i guess i should I don't care. Uh, yeah, do the fucking gimmick change. That's okay, whatever. Uh, and the show overall gets an 84B+. Plus. That's okay, that's good, that's fine, I'll take it. Uh, we're going to talk to probably Kurt, because he's really fucking good. Give him a hug. We'll do the same for uh, Jericho, because they both kind of carried their own kind of matches. Uh, Kurt less is so, but Kurt's really fucking good. Uh, and then we'll talk to, uh, Trips, I guess, because he took the pin. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll tell him that he's awesome. Seem pleased, seem pleased, seem pleased. Good stuff. Um, 370, are you, are you still there? Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> well, what, what do you think about that? <laughs> Woo! What, what what do you think's going on here? <laughs> do you know something that I don't? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> no, I'm sleep deprived, fam. I know um, you are. You fucking. I'm I'm shoot sleep. I've been out all the fucking day. I'm like I'm dead as fuck. Um. I don't know, man. I don't know what these initials WCW mean. God damn it. Um, you know, because I've watched WWF since, you know, since, I don't know, when did Raw start? 93? Wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know WCW in that case? You should have no, said, no, no, like, no, no, I've no. been watching WWF for, like, two months. <laughs> <laughs> but watching WWF as long as I can remember. That's about two months I've ago. It's been two months, brother. Um... Yeah, I don't know WCW. These guys look mighty scary, though. And I don't know. Might be a force to be reckoned with, brother. What? But there's only three of them, so. Yeah, but, you know, you, you get the two-man power trip. They're three, three men, brother. That's true. That's true. We've seen how powerful the two-man power trip are. So. Yeah. What about a three-man? What if they're the three-man power trip? That's scary as fuck. That is scary. They uh, need some, like, women, though. Because, like. The two men power trip. I believe. They need bitches. Um, oh. 370, hook them up. Um, You're right. I control women, to be fair. That's true. You do control women. Uh, but without any further ado, uh, I think I think we want to both thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pretty long video. Oh, yeah. It's like we're approaching 45 minutes now. Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep right after this is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am too, pretty much. Um, yeah. I've got to get ready for stuff tomorrow. Um but yeah, Ooh, I, I just wanted boy. to uh, make you guys aware. Um, when we go to end the video, there's like, this weird period where like it says stopping, <laughs> and like we can't really control when that does that. So basically, 
uh, I, when I say, like, starting now, we could cut off at any point. So we're just going to say stupid shit until then. So if it cuts out, uh, it'll be okay. Starting 